it's Eric with Monday Lost. How you guys doing today? Um, today I'm going to show you what I'm having for breakfast, but beforehand let's talk about yesterday, Friday. Um, I actually did not work out um, because I was hurting <laughs> pretty much. And uh, I've been busting ass all week, so uh, I felt like I'd take a day off. So, um, And also, I'm kind of my muscle, my muscles in my right arm from, when did I do arms? Tuesday finally really hit me. I can't extend my arm further than this. You know, normally you can go straight, but here I can't extend it any further than this. So I'm just going to take a break for, for yesterday and probably later today I'll be back at the gym busting some ass. So let's uh, get into breakfast. Um, a lot of dinners during the week. I have an egg omelet. But when I have time to make breakfast, I like to make these little egg um, white or egg beater um, wontons. So for those of you guys that are not picky like I am, I'm extremely picky. I don't like a lot of fruits or vegetables and that type of stuff. Feel free to add stuff to this. Um, a lot of stuff that you find online, you see these, you know, maybe diced tomatoes in there, maybe some onions or something like that. It, I'm just a plain old type of guy. I like everything plain. So... I'm just going to show you what you, I like, and you guys can uh, deviate from that and uh, make what you guys like. Um, but I definitely like eggs, and I definitely like, you know, some crunch to them every now and then. So, um, let's check it out. So, first thing, let me show you the items that you're going to need. Alright, so first you need a pan. This is a um, cupcake pan, but a mini cupcake pan. Right, and then you need some non-stick spray. This is just nature's promise. This is uh, organic canola oil, oil, but you can have Pam, you know, whatever you guys can find. Uh, most of that stuff is calorie-free, but uh, you know you still want to limit it. Um, then you need some wonton wrappers, and uh, these are great. These are, these are only ones I can find in the store, same brand. And then I have some egg beaters. Um, I don't use real eggs because I want to cut down on calories and cholesterol and that kind of stuff. So I love the Egg Beater brand. Um, I've tried some of the other store brands and they're not as good. And then I'm just going to add some shredded cheese. And you can use cheddar cheese, you can use American cheese. This is some gourmet mac and cheese. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. So, Alright guys, first thing you want to do is to put on your oven. Alright, so we want to turn on the oven on 350. Let's go ahead and preheat that. And then you can take your, this is really, really simple. You can take your spray and just spray down. Now I'm cooking for three people, so I'm going to make these all. Of course for you, um, you don't want to make all of these. You probably just want maybe um, five to eight of them. You know, each wonton wrapper, let me show you. Um, eight of them is 160 calories, so this is probably like uh, 30, 20 or 30 calories each. And then you have the eggs, so you're looking probably, you know, I would say 25 to 50 calories per um, little wonton. So you definitely don't want to eat too many, and plus the cheese. Don't forget the cheese, but I don't add a lot of cheese to it. Okay, so once the the can uh, the tray is sprayed down, you want to open up the little wonton wrappers. So I'll make sure you break them up. You don't want two wrappers. You just want one wrapper, and then as you put them in, you just want to kind of push them down. You might have to force them down a little bit. Take another one. I'm going to make all these today. Um, my wife and my daughter are going to be eating these with me too. Uh, but then also, I can save some for tomorrow. And don't worry, like this one got ripped down there. That's okay. It's not going to affect it. So you just push it down. And I'm going to probably fast forward from here.
So once these things are in and they're pushed down, you want to make sure they're touching the bottom. Um, you can go ahead and open up your egg beaters. And you would just want to slowly pour them in. You probably want to fill them up about halfway or so, just like that. Right in the middle. You don't want to fill them up. Oh, that one's too much, but that's okay. Just a little bit in each one. You want to make sure you're pouring it in the middle. Alright, and now once they're filled up, you can take your cheese. Cheese, please! All of some cheese. Uh -oh. A little hard to open up with one hand. Come on! Open up! Yes. Okay. So this is just a little mac and cheese. Now, just a little bit. Just for some flavor. And that's all I do. A little bit in each one, just a couple strands in each one. Just like that. And this is the point that you would add in, you know, diced tomatoes, some onions, some green peppers, whatever you guys like. You know, I'm just, I'm, like I said earlier, I am just extremely picky. And I don't like most foods. Two more. And I actually found these from my wife. She actually made some type of uh, wonton pizza things one day. And I was like, you have any of those extra wontons wrappers? And she said, yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm hungry. Let me see what I can make up. So I just kind of made up this myself. But uh, after researching online, it's not my own idea. But who cares? All right, guys. So all the cheese in there is uh, in the wrappers. So now we just want to kind of close up the wrappers. All right, so what I like to do, you kind of have to get them wet a little bit as you push them down so they stay together. Like that. And you, some people like to leave them open. I like to shut them. If you get them wet, they stay shut. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And like this one, if the uh, um, egg beaters are on the outside, that's okay. It'll all stick together when it gets, when it bakes. I like to shut them. I'm gonna shut them. There we go. Now I like to cook these extra, extra well done. I like them crisp. You can uh, watch them yourselves and see how you like them. You know, you might just want them to be uh, just like medium. I like them well done, so nice about these is that you can make them however you want. You, know, you can change things, you can cook them differently. There we go. Almost done. Stay shut. Alright. So those are all ready. My oven is still not ready. So I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. So it still has to go up another 100 degrees before I put them in. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. My oven is now at 350. So we're going to go ahead and put these in. Looking nice. Mmm, I'm getting hungry already. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now I'm going to put this on the middle shelf for 15 to 20 minutes until they're just golden brown until they're a little crisp on the edges of the uh, the wonton. So be back 15, 20 minutes. All right guys, it's about 15, 20 minutes in. And uh, let's go take a look. I guess my phone again. All right, so these are just about done. Just the way I like them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. All right guys, so these are just about done. I just want to make sure they're actually complete. So I kind of try to wiggle them out. You can see this is nicely done. This is done. 
should be able to just pull them right out. And I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have eight of them today uh, for breakfast. Probably right around, around 400 calories or so. Because each eight wontons is 160 calories and you have the eggs and the cheese. So right around 400 calories for eight of these. So that's five. Six. Let's see if we can get this one. This is the one that was broken. See, even the one that breaks open, you can see the egg just cooks right into the wonton and it's, uh, it's ready to go. So, seven, and here's eight. So, there we go, boys and girls. Here's my little wontons, my egg wontons. And I can't wait to break into one of these. How it tastes. All right, guys, let's break into one of these and see how it tastes. Let's go for this one. Here we go. Yeah, a crunch. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And the slight hint of cheese in there. Perfect. So crunchy. So good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please uh, stay tuned for later. I'll do a workout video for you guys. Please subscribe, please thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Watching, guys, I hope you enjoy my cooking video. If you want to see another one of my cooking videos, click on the top left video. If you want to see my I'm Too Fat top 10, click on the top right. You'll have a good laugh. And if you're brand new to my channel, make sure you subscribe.